nation's capital from Lola Adeyemi, ADBN News. Minister of Environment Malam Balari de Abbas Lawal has revealed that Nigeria, like other nations, is suffering from adverse impacts of climate change. He said the impact ranges from extreme weather conditions to rising sea levels and a loss of biodiversity, which is having negative effects on daily lives. The minister stated this at a one day workshop in Abuja organized by the National Council on Climate Change to review the conclusions of COP28 in accordance with national priorities. Joycelyn Elakeche Ada has details. The Conference of Parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change is the convening of member countries annually to determine the ambition, responsibilities and commitment to climate measures. The Minister of Environment, Malam Balaribe Abbas Lawal, said COP28 serves as a reminder for the global fight against climate change and the urgent need for resolute action in the face of escalating climate crisis and environmental challenges. He said, as the world gears up for COP28, it is imperative for stakeholders to foster a spirit of collaboration and unity to advance Nigeria's environmental goals. COP28 reaffirm our collective determination to tackle the essential threat caused by climate change, which has been uh, clearly itemized by most of the speakers here, particularly the view raised by uh, the, Rep, the British High Commission on the issue of this year's uh, heat. It's quite unprecedented this year, see, because we find that what happened in Nigeria is compared to what we, we saw in Kuwait, in Dubai, and other places. Uh, so I think there's a uh, dramatic change in terms of weather in Nigeria, starting from February up to today. The weather has been very, very hot, not only for her, but for all of us. I think we need to look at what is the cause of that change in our weather patterns. The Director General. National Council on Climate Change, Dr. Sali Sudahiru, explained that the workshop is organized to review Nigeria's participation at COP28, the opportunities, the outcomes, and its implication for the country. Our participation of COP through statements, negotiations, and other engagements reaffirm the need for strengthened collective climate change action across the three pillars of uh, of the UNFCCC on the area of adaptation, in the area of finance, and also in the area of adaptation. As, a, as an oil producing and developing country, the agreement largely during COP28 posed the threat for, called for the need for a strategic review of all our national action and climate goals. At the COP28 conference, Nigeria emerged as a significant participant, securing over $300 million in commitment and partnership aimed at bustering the nation's energy transition. Joycelyn Ella Keche Ada.